Hey there, welcome back to our kitchen. My name is Emily and this is Lauren and we're two of Festival's Mealtime Mentors. Today we're whipping up a quick and easy weeknight recipe. Yes, this is one of both of our favorite meals. Today we are making buffalo chicken stuffed sweet potatoes. I love this <laughs> recipe because not only is it very quick, it's I think less than 20 minutes, but it also combines a lot of our favorite foods. Um, it's a complete meal in one and it tastes absolutely delicious. It's definitely a crowd pleaser, <laughs> definitely very kid friendly and husband friendly as well. I've tried that. <laughs> all right, so all we've done to get started was cooking our sweet potatoes and we actually cook these in the microwave uh, just by pricking the outside to kind of help um, make sure that they don't explode in the microwave. You don't want that. <laughs> no. um, but we just cooked them for about eight minutes, but it might depend on the size of the, the sweet potatoes. Yes, that's one of my favorite ways. It's just so quick, so easy, um, and they cook very, very evenly, which is awesome. And I've also tried um, cooking them in the slow cooker mm -hmm. too. So another quick way, quick way to avoid that extra time, maybe after the work day or if you're just kind of on the run, um, put it in the crock pot. Um, you can cook it on low for about six to eight hours or on high for three to four hours, um, and it'll cook nice and even too. So your sweet potatoes are ready to go. Nice and quick, easy way to get a veggie in. Yes. So our next step is our chicken. Um, so we're just using leftover chicken breasts today. Mm -hmm. um, you could really use whatever you have on hand. You could use a rotisserie chicken, mm -hmm. really any sort of leftover chicken, or if you have time to cook it up, or even crock pot chicken works yep. good too. Yeah, you were just saying that you've done this recipe before in the crock pot where you've had cooked a chicken breast with a little bit of the, the Frank's Red Hot sauce. Yeah. Um, so it's all ready to go at the end of the day to just kind of assemble. Yeah, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just adding in some of the Frank's Red Hot sauce. Um, this is about a third cup is what we're adding, um, but essentially you just want it to be all all the chicken to be coated. Yep. Oh, it smells so good. It does. <laughs> nice buffalo flavor. Getting excited, yeah. So this is about good While here. you're mixing that up, I was actually gonna show everyone how to make one of my favorite, I guess, dairy-free dressings. I sometimes crave a ranch dressing and there just aren't a whole lot of options for a dairy-free mm -hmm. alternative. So I've kind of devised my own recipe um, with just a little bit of olive oil mayo. Adds that nice creaminess. So then the next ingredient I'm gonna add is a little bit of red wine vinegar. Usually I use a white wine vinegar, but we didn't have any right now. So I'm using the red wine, it works just as good. Um, then I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder. And then some fresh dill. You could also use dried dill as well if you don't have any fresh on hand, but that adds kind of that classic ranch flavor. Just give this a little whisk. So while Emily's doing that, I am going to get our steam fresh broccoli, um, and then that will be all of our ingredients so we can start assembling our sweet potatoes. Sounds great. And this is a really great recipe if you need to, or if you're cooking for yourself or for a crowd, because you can really multiply the ingredients to serve that crowd, or you could even just you know, make a sweet potato and maybe a, a chicken breast. Um, if you're serving yourself. And I love the steam fresh um, veggies too. They're just really convenient, perfect for weeknight meals, um, and all forms matter. So whether that's canned, dried, fresh, frozen, 100% juice, um, all forms of fruit and veggies are important and they count towards our daily fruit and vegetable intake. Awesome. So should we get started on assembly? Yes, yeah, so we'll start with our chicken. Buffaloes, that smells so good. I'll grab some broccoli. This is also a, a perfect meal for one. Um, really something easy that you can pop one sweet potato yep. in the microwave, um, use any leftover chicken, and then of course some frozen veggies. I'll swap you. Perfect, thank you. <laughs> and the order really doesn't matter. Just getting everything on here so we can dig in. Yum, yum. It's nice too because we might have, for two people, you might have a little extra yep. frozen broccoli, but it also is nice for leftovers or just to have on the side. All right, I'm going to top with a little bit of this homemade ranch dressing. And I'm going to use a little bit of this. This is Greek yogurt ranch dressing. And then if you, you don't want to make, um, take the time to make your own homemade dairy-free ranch alternative, we also carry the Daya uh, Ranch Alternative Dressing. It's also a great option. Um, you can find that in our natural and organic department. 
in really whatever ranch you have on hand yeah. on hand. I have on hand at home. Or Will even work. blue cheese would be delicious <gasps> as well. Yes, that would be fabulous. All right. Should we dig in? I am ready. I need to get a piece of this chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo sauce is so good. Mm. I think I can eat this every day. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hope you give this quick and easy weeknight meal a try. And for more recipes and resources from your mealtime mentors, go to bestfoods.com.